Welcome to The Hustle. This is a show that brings you various business ideas that you can borrow or implement in your business. Leo, tuko ndani ya Roy Sambu at Planet Inc. Tattoo. Amba potu na kutana na Dennis, the owner, amba ya tatuambia mengi kusu tattoos and body piercings business in Kenya. Tattoos and body piercings are increasingly finding acceptance in the society. I'm a tattooist and a body piercer, and my brand is Planet Ink Tattoos. Welcome to my day. I usually start my day with, uh, of course, the regular cleaning, kidogo kidogo, uh -huh. a prayer, lazima, I'm a church person. Wow. Then I just sit and wait for my day to start. Dennis Chege, a tattoo artist from Narosambu in Nairobi County, has found a business niche from the passion he has for this kind of art. My journey to art uh, has not been that easy, so I can, I can say that art is good, it's a passion. I got into the art industry quite, uh, quite early. Started as a as a passion. Nikiwa Shule, I used to draw. Then I think my my folks knew that I was interested in that. They got me picture books. I started drawing, and that was through my primary years. When I finished primary, I knew this is what I wanted to do. I just furthered my my knowledge by participating in competitions and stuff, and that's how I got into the art industry. For the tattoos, I met some guy uh, seven years ago. He was one of the first tattooists in Kenya. His name was Kama. He's the guy who trained me. I worked under him as an apprentice and he plugged me in the market. The reason why I, I, I decided to settle on this place is because the location is, uh, is prime. It's near a highway. Uh, there are a lot of universities around, yeah. so that means there is a supply of clientele. Mm -hmm. About the starting capital, uh, I started with a machine. I started small, so I started with around 15 Gs. I got a second-hand machine in parts, and yeah, I knew I was ready to start. First of all, before even thinking of the things that you require to have, it's important to have the passion and the drive because I think most people get lost in the industry because they are focused on the money. The business, yes, it's a business, but it's not more about the money other than it's about the passion and the drive. So today we have my client, Melvin. He wants some tribal band and we had already, we had previously discussed the design, so mm -hmm. this is what I'm doing today. Oh. This is the first process. Uh, you have to disinfect the area that you want to tattoo. That's the first thing. The best products, okay, some use surgical spirit, uh, others Dettol. I think it's a preference. Mm -hmm. I find, I find Dettol better, probably because of the of the disinfectant smell mm -hmm. and you know make uh, it just makes it just makes the skin the skin a bit a bit soft mm -hmm. so i usually put a band around so that it goes around the arm mm -hmm. then i mark exactly where i want the the lines to cross then after that i do the design work for for in between the the tattoo Tattoo business can be a lucrative career path for talented artists, although it will require some time and education. I think most people get lost in the industry because they are focused on the money. The business, yes, it's a business, but it's not more about the money other than it's about the passion, passion. and the drive. Mm -hmm. So other than uh, that, you need uh, a good machine. You need a good supplier who will be who will be steady. Like they won't disappoint you. Maybe you're having clients and they can't they can't sub, uh, supply you with fresh supplies. Mm -hmm. And lastly and not least, you need you need you need good clients who will keep coming and keep referring other clients <laughs> to you. Uh, well, I think if you do quality work, clients will usually come back because people love quality. Yeah. Like, uh, if you go somewhere and get something good, you are you are most likely to go, to go back. Yeah. So I make sure that I do quality work on my clients. I keep in touch with them so that maybe I can know how they are doing, and in that way, maybe they feel that you are more a part of them other than 
you just being a, 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 a their tattooist, you 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 slightly become their friend, and mm -hmm. yeah, they 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 definitely come back. I charge according to the design, also according to the size of the design uh, of the tattoo. tattoo. Yeah, but roughly from around 1,500 onwards, you can get a decent tattoo. In addition to the tattoo machine, you'll also need other essential tattoo shop supplies such as gloves, medical bibs, ink cups, foot pedal, clip cord, tubes and power supply. I, I get an assortment of needles. Mm -hmm. So basically the needles are uh, divided into liners and shaders. Mm -hmm. For the liners you have, you have uh, all the way from number 1 to 10. So depending on the thickness, on the thickness of the of the needle, which dictate the size or the thickness of the lines that you are going to put. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then under the shaders, mm -hmm. we have magnums and round shaders. I prefer using magnums. They are they are more broad and and less painful. Yeah, actually, mm -hmm. so important. They are less painful. Around how much can um, a needle cost? Uh, around around seventy bob, depending 70. on yeah. Wow, but, that's fair. But but they do sell them. They do sell them as a as a as a In package. Bulk, yeah? yeah, yeah. That's the best way to get them. So maybe you can throw in a fun fact about tattoos. Yes, please. Yeah, I learned that. Tattoos actually were this, uh, the tattoo machine actually was patented mm -hmm. almost almost the same time as they discovered uh, they invented basketball. Yeah, so it does make a lot of sense why most basketballers are heavy, uh, heavily tattooed. Yeah. Most sports. Yeah. So this is how you assemble your gun. Yeah, I know it's funny. So actually, the the tattoo machine was was a was a mistake. Was invented as a mistake. Someone Thomas Edison wanted to make it a a pen for writing documents, and it flopped as an idea. But there are people in life who see good things in mistakes. Some guy called O'Reilly saw it as an opportunity, and he turned it. He turned it into this, into the modern tattoo machine that we use. So thank to him, guys don't have to go through through the process of uh, getting hand-operated tattoos like puncture tattoos. This is the power box. It supplies the power to my gun. There is the clip cord. This is the this is the one that brings the power from the power box to the gun. Then there is the stepper or the step switch that I'm stepping on. You can buy them locally or just import, import them. Sorry. Around the cost of 18k you can get them. Besides this, one needs to be certified to run a tattoo business in Kenya. About the licenses, uh, we just operate with the, uh, with, un, under the beauty licenses. But I think maybe in future they can have like specific licenses for tattooers and body piercers. Mm -hmm. That will be of great help to us. The hustle takes a short break and when we come back, we delve more into this tattoo business. Welcome back. You are watching The Hustle. According to Lancet, a medical journal, the 2016 review on tattoo health and safety regulations tend to focus on short-term risks like infections, but little is actually known about the long-term risks of living with ink under your skin. However, according to senior author Dr. Andre of the German Federal Institute for Risk Assessment in Berlin, the inks are classified as cosmetics, hence their long-term toxicology can't be tested in animals. In his opinion, tattoo inks should be a completely different product category. But what drives one to get a tattoo? I find it as a form of art where you can express yourself. Like, for me, I'm really interested in birds or mostly wing winged creatures. 
So if I can't be a bird, I just draw a bird on me. It's a very acquired pain. So basically it's not everybody who thinks it's pain. Some people are say this <laughs> to me so um, I basically feel the pain but other people don't so it's it's too, it's a flip of the coin you can one day you'll feel the pain the other day you'll, you won't feel the pain plus it also depends on what part of the body you are tattooing you, you're drawing if it's uh, if it's closer to the bone or closer to sensitive skin it's way way more painful but if it's if it's basically chest area for ladies or or your backside where there's more meat <laughs> um, it's much much easier and less painful in a span of five years I've had 10 tattoos done yeah basically but I don't I don't I don't do anything beyond my my um, t-shirt line so basically nothing beyond this point or on my legs just my torso I think that it's it's a booming business. Right now, people have the right to express themselves anywhere, they, anyhow they want. So, to find uh, to get a chance to express yourself through body art, it's it's a really, it's a good blessing. So, I admire all those tattoo artists out there who actually know what they are doing. <laughs> yes. Okay, the tattoo business in Kenya isn't really supported because of the African culture and and the expenses and you know and there's a lot of people who don't really know how to tattoo but they start a business without actually knowing what they're doing and end up messing messing it up for everybody else and yeah but it's actually fast rising and I've seen a lot of people getting tattoos uh, recently I've been, I've been seeing a lot of tattoo artists coming up like he I started I started with Dennis when he was starting out my his 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 second or third tattoo was mine, yeah. And we, we just kept you you literally just watch them grow and if they become better and better. I'm glad that the culture that the tattoo and piercing culture in Kenya is growing. Maybe people are uh, getting to appreciate tattoos and piercings more than they used to a few years ago. Yeah. yeah. And so in Kenya, I get to do small tattoos mostly. People are not are not still uh, buying the ideas uh, the idea of getting big tattoos, mm. but slowly, slowly they will get there. Besides the profits, setbacks are inevitable in any business. On a good day, I, I, I make enough. Okay, uh, <laughs> I make roughly 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 ten k on a good day. Wow. Then on a bad day, sometimes the days can be really bad, and yeah, on a bad day you can you you can just go back home the way you came. I don't want to put people's uh, hopes up there. Yeah, it's it's more about you holding on and believing that tomorrow is gonna be better. Yeah, the journey has not been easy, not yeah. at all. Yeah. Of course, first the challenge was the my folks like them accepting that this is what I really want to do. Mm. Uh, but thank God they, they eventually supported me. The other challenge was that uh, uh, as, a, as, a new, as a new thing in, in Kenya, we can say it's new, people have not really embraced the tattoo culture which, which, which leaves us at a, at a very awkward position because you are trying to sell something that the culture does not really want to buy on. On, on, on over the shelf yeah mm -hmm. so you find that most of the people getting tattoos are people that are, uh, are just outlaws in their own ways yeah, yeah. with an estimate of 5.7 million kenyans unemployed according to the world bank report of 2018 one's talent and passion plays a key role when it comes to self-employment i think the advice i will give is that uh, uh, it's all in your mind there is work out there for people who want to work there is always something out there so i will tell them first of all to put their to put their heart at the right place to to respect god first of all having acknowledged god and that's the gateway to all this then after that now you have to you have to you have to find something you like and turn it into a source of income like i said I, I, I discovered that I, I was good at art and 
I, I just I just found the right people and with that they connected me to the industry. Mm -hmm. So it's never late and there is there is something for everyone. They say that there are enough apples in the world for everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm on Instagram, I'm uh, I'm in Facebook and I have a uh, I have a WhatsApp number. Mm -hmm. On Instagram, I'm Denota Twist, mm -hmm. Deno with a double N, Denota Twist Shade, Shade S H A D E. On, uh, on Facebook, same, same name, uh, yeah. From passion and talent translating into work, let's have a look at businesses one can start with as little as 5,000 Kenya shillings. Grocery deliveries. First, you need to identify where to get your groceries from. With 2,300 shillings, you can get your groceries and 700 shillings for packaging and packing material. This gives us 3,000 shillings. Secondly, you can deliver to your neighbors and small food kiosks at a fee, which will in turn add into your profit. Make shaggy mats. It costs about 3,000 shillings to buy the materials, which include mat mesh, bolts of wool, a pair of scissors, crochet needles, and marker pens to outline the design you want. A one square meter shaggy rug can retail at about 5,000 shillings, and in a profit of 4,000 shillings. Alternatively, you can learn how to make mats from YouTube and in turn you can become a mat vendor and charge a fee of about 1,000 shillings for people who want to learn, which you can do on Facebook. Refill perfumes. There are many trendy fragrances you can buy with 5,000 shillings and resell in smaller quantities. For example, you can buy a 125ml bottle and repackage the perfume into 5ml bottles and sell each at 250 shillings. Well, that's all we had prepared for you today, but be sure to catch us again next week where we get to explore more business ideas. From me, Tabitha Mothoni, and the entire The Hustle team, have a lovely week.